Hi, Chanel from App Themes here, and in this short video tutorial, I'll explain how to create a membership pack to offer on your ClassyPress website. Membership packs allow you to set up subscription based pricing packages. This way, users who sign up to a membership can post unlimited ads at a set fee for a specific time period. Once you successfully create a membership pack, you can offer them to potential customers from your site's main navigation menu. The different memberships that you offer will be listed on this page. A user can then click on the Buy Now button for the membership that suits their ad posting criteria. After they have paid for the membership, they'll be able to post ads with the conditions you set. For example, if they choose this membership here, it will allow them to post ads for 30 days and they only need to pay $2 per ad they wish to post. The initial cost of this membership will be $15. You can also add a detailed description about the membership to try and sell this to potential customers. We'll now take a look at how you can set up a membership pack in your ClassyPress website. So I'd head to my WordPress dashboard and I click on ClassyPress pricing and then on the memberships tab. To be able to offer membership packs to your customers, you'll need to ensure that the enable packs checkbox is ticked. You can set a specific amount of days prior to a membership ending that you'd like to send a notification email out. You can also choose if users must be a member to post an ad. So for me, this isn't going to be required. Anyone can post an ad on my website. So you'd go ahead and you'd save those changes. We're now ready to set up a membership pack. The membership packs menu can be found by clicking on payments and then on membership packs. Before we create our own, we'll take a look at this example. In this example, the title reads 30 days publishing for only $2. They've gone with a static price package type where a user must pay $15 to become part of this membership. Their membership will last 30 days and they can post as many ads in this period for $2 an ad. Now that we've taken a look at the default example, we'll create our own membership pack. So we can do this by clicking add new. This brings us to the add new pack page we will need to enter some details into the following fields that will create our membership pack. We'll start by giving our membership pack a name. So we'll go for 60 days for only $7.50. This means that the user can post for 60 days and the buy-in cost will be $7.50. I can enter a description about my membership pack. So I'll go ahead and I'll do that now. So I've entered in a description about my membership pack so that the user has a good idea about what they're paying for. The package type and the price modifier go hand in hand, so we'll come back to them in a minute. We'll choose a price that a user must pay to become part of this membership. So for mine, it's going to be 750, so I'll just put 7.50. So if a user wants to be part of this membership, they'll need to pay $7.50 up front. The duration of this membership will be 60 days as I've stated in the title. I'll not be marking the satisfies membership required as I do not require someone to be part of a membership to post an ad. We'll now talk about package type and price modifier. The package type relates to how you would like your potential member to pay for each ad that they post. A static price will be what I'm using. A discounted price means that it will be a dollar discount off the overall cost of a category price. For instance, if it costs $10 to be part of the autos category, you might say that this person in this membership gets a $2 discounted price. That means that they'll only have to pay $8 to be part of the auto category. The percentage discounted price is similar to discounted price, although instead of saying $2, you'd say 20%. Because I'm just choosing a static price, I'd select that. And then here, I just put one decimal zero zero. But if you choose to do a percentage discount of price, in the price modifier, you'd follow this rule here. So for 50%, you just put five zero with no decimal point. A normal discount of price would be entered the same way a static price would be. For example, one dot zero zero. So in a real life classy press website, you'd either publish it out or save this as a draft. When you publish out a new membership pack, it'll appear to your customers on this page here. They can then choose to buy it. I hope that this tutorial has given you a better understanding on how to create a membership pack on your ClassyPress website. You can read a written tutorial on membership packs 
on our Classy Press documentation page.